In this example, we're going to review how to attach a super elevation to our bridge model. So we're laying out the bridge, multiple spans. We just, we're going to place a standard deck. So we know how to do this procedure, placing uh, different spacing for the peer lines, adjusting that. So we have reviewed that in quite a few videos already. But we're showing you the entire process. So we have uh, the peer lines placed. So now we're going to place uh, the deck. Again, it's going to be a standard deck. But I want to point that these points, the points that make the deck, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, right? these are the points that need to rotate with the super elevation. Okay, so let's review our library. And in our library, we got to review that standard template for the deck. And this is what needs to be activated. In that point, needs to be activated that toggle, super elevation flag. So it means when we attach the Sup the roadway super elevation it's flagged as a rotation point and we're going to pair it with uh, the roadway super with the deck super and make it rotate so let's place the deck it's done and it's a standard cross slope right let's zoom in Now, let's attach as a reference file the roadway super elevation that is already calculated. And the colors rotate, the multiple rotations that the roadway uh, is doing. We can review from OBM as well the super elevation report and see the different cross slopes that are affecting the, the roadway due to the design speed. Things going from 4% of the way to 8%. So it's in transition. So now we attach the super elevation in OBM. Click on the reference file. So click on the deck. And then the process is to pair the super points from the roadway file to the super points on the deck that were flagged as super elevation points. And that's it. Automatically, you see now the deck rotating according to the roadway super elevation. And that will do it. Now, I also review different uh, sections, and these affect how you place the beams as well. So if we continue with the process of doing the beam layout and placing um, the beams that we need you will see that well, not only the deck has rotated but the, the beams will accommodate as well so placing a beam layout Layout is fine. Make it a standard for all the spans. It's good. So the layout is okay. And then we're going to place the the beams. And select the layout. Accept it. We want to attach a particular beam to that layout. Is it okay? And then my beams will be placed below the super elevated deck. Now, if the super elevation changes in roadway, for example, so it's just a matter of uh, attaching the super, reloading the file, uh, 
open bridge modeler will sense that you will update the bridge and the deck will take the new rotation and if you have placed beams already well the beam will just rotate accordingly and so on and so forth so uh, honoring a full parametric design for that you see now the new hunches are calculated and everything else so then you have a full super elevated bridge with the beams accommodating to it.